Hello there, now. What is this figure I'm talking about? Blur. He is part of the 500 series that was and is still around. But I bought him at Ross for, I think, seven bucks, I think. Now, this figure right here, kind of floppy. Let's see what it looks like when I open the box. Yes, I had to figure out my hand, but let's see it from in the box, outside the box, transformation, auction mode, so on and so forth. Here's the box for the blur that is part of, part of the 500 series. The box looks fantastic. And I did cut it a bit over here, but I did cut it at Ross, so. So normally it'd be 20, 26 bucks, but I got it for eight. So I got it more cheaper. And the box is really, really good. And the figure's right here, too. I love how well these paint always up. Like I said, cut a bit right here. There we go. Everything's out of the way. And right here is weapons. Because, of course, they can't ship it with weapons on the PlayStation computer. And if they did, that'd be kind of dumb to do so. But, there we go. Get these down. Now I got these cutters because these things are a pain in the butt. So I don't know much about this character, I will say. <clears throat> but here it is in Pinnacle mode. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Box and open. <coughs> now here's C figure here blur and his robot mode. Going up from the bottom. The top looks very good, except for the rulers it can't turn at all, which makes sense. The gun and the other parts are in front too, but I take that off. But it's pretty good looking sword. Um, just gonna roll or anything. He's just a block. I thought this part does this, but I'll talk about that when I get to a mode. It's really snapping into place pretty well. Which is actually good for a figure. But it looks like you can up and do things up in here. Let's see. Looks like it stands. Yeah, these are for the hands. But they don't do much, anyways. From bottom, the cube looks kind of obvious. It's not really a human car. Well, this thing does spin. Transformation on him. So that little beam thing, I don't know what it's for, actually. Well, it's not bad, actually, for a uh, physical mode. Let's do the transformation and we'll leave the robot off. Now, let's start the transformation for Blur. Take out the guns, take out the pieces for the gun, put it to the side, then move the arms like that for right now. Move them down, unhinge legs right here, pull these up so that means they can move out of the way. Move the legs out. Just remove this one, pour that with this. Just put it in here. Close the leg. All the way. When that happens, move this part out the way so you can put this in there. Move it up again. Because these things are a pain in the butt. Now make sure it's all the way like this. Flip this to the back. Flip the chest piece around. Now with the hands, turn it like this. You're going to connect to that. Then put this in here. 
part this right here. Easy to information. Now here's Blur in the robot mode, which I think looks fantastic. I like how real looking the body is. Well, never mind the backpack, other than that, it looks really, really good. Articulation not really outstanding, you could say. Standard articulation for robot mode. But it does get, it can do some wide poses. Which I love. I think that after you like this can do really, really crazy chance like, uh, like poses. Like that is so freaking cool, but it's so weak sometimes. With the weapons, we only have this, but I don't know what this is. So I'll just show you. But the stick on a hand, and this is the rifle. Because America. Looks pretty good, actually. But there's only one face mode, but other than that, he's really good for right there. Ah, sorry about that. Now, with the articulation. The arm goes out this far. The elbow bends right here. But not that far. Legs. Eh, standard knee. Foot wise. It is on a ratchet, so yeah. The spread of the vigor. Beautiful. The big legs can go this far. And back this far. So, pretty good range. But I don't think you kind of weapons, but I like to do that because that looks way too freaking good not to use. Just turn to the side, you got a sword on hand, <laughs> which I would love to do that so much. Because I had the figure to stand with a rifle in one hand and the sword in another hand. I think it looks really good. That looks really, really cool. And so, you flip this up for a second. Do you see this? Let me show you. This opens up for some reason, but it's never really used for anything. It just empties, which I think I I I hope it would do something, but no, it doesn't. But it's not a trigger. No, but mode. Now it's that person. The only characters I have next to me is uh, Burnout. He's uh, a little shorter than the rest of this figure, but. But pretty good actually. And I'm gonna figure next to me for a guy. My gun is too far from me too. So. Now let's go my let's switch my legs on to the other. Overall, what's my foot on the figure? It's not bad, but it feels loose. And I, I hope over time does it get it doesn't get too loose at the point that it's gonna snap itself apart. And that's my issue with it because with figures like these they will last a while, but if you don't take care of them or anything, then, well, I'm not going to put your figures in a box, and that's where they're going to be sitting. And that's really where these figures go. At the end of the day, they're just figures. And the joints on these, even though they may tolerate them, like the leg, the arms are fine. See, everything's fine on it, until how long would the figure last? It's good, but... After we got out of the box, it's not bad. But when you transform it, you kind of feel like some of the weak points sticking out. And is that always good? No. But it's good to have a figure that will snap on you or lose the power joints. Let's say the arm gets through their time. It would slowly drop itself on its own without me even touching it. That's not good. Same thing with the legs. That thing happened to it. No, what do you recommend you to buy the figure? Yeah, if you have eight bucks or wherever you're looking, it's not bad, but it's all your choice. I hope you liked the video, like and subscribe on Discord and stuff like that. Peace out. <laughs>